guys, so it is Friday, but I've taken a day off work and I'm gonna work on some comic stuff, some YouTube stuff, drawing just for fun maybe. This is my current work from home desk, these computers come from my work, so does this chair, it's a very nice chair. And yes, it's a behemoth of a machine right now, and here's a little tour of my so-called work desk. Got some Dina postcards there. Dina Norland, if you don't know her, she does this uh, Patreon where she sends cards and stickers every month, and I love it. I will link her down below. We also have some Joy Sand stickers here. I just covered my work computer with stickers, and I've got like tons of hand cream here. Um, my Fitbit that I haven't worn in ages because I've been stuck in the house, and uh, my squishy. So that's my desk, but today this will be my desk because it is a beautiful view. We're staying at a family friend's um, flat just for a little while until everything clears up, but it has a beautiful view. So it's been a long time since we've had a chat or it's been a long time since I've done a vlog and I've been watching a lot of uh, like studio vlogs lately and stuff like that and I realised I miss making this content a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm going to post sporadically these little vlogs when I can because I don't really have that much studio time because I'm working full time so it doesn't make sense for me to make a vlog because I might not have that much to show in a week but yeah so I'm going to just post these sporadically. I need a new tripod as you can see, this one I've been using since the beginning of my channel and I have like this little extension thing on it and I've, I've had two of these, the past one broke and this one is on the decline because it's just kind of like leaning forward now. It's like an extension thing so I can film over the desk. I really need to invest in a better tripod, but they're really quite expensive. They're like 150 quid and I've always had this thing where it's like, well, if it's working, should I replace it? But now it's being a bit of a mess again. So I kind of regret not replacing it sooner. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're tilted or not, but hey, this is a, a vlog, so it's all relaxed and stuff. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys a little bit about what I'm doing today because I took the day off work, as I probably already said, I took the day off work to focus on maybe figuring out if I can do a Patreon again. It's like the bane of my existence because I really want to do art full time but, oh pesto, she gets really crazy with these uh, seagulls around here she loves them so she chatters at them all day it's really cute um yeah so it's a bit of my existence because i was thinking of all the rewards i could do and then i'm just like oh i can't draw <laughs> i'm trying to do like the little um things that you put after each reward like everyone has these cute little icons and i was trying to think what what icons could i do and i was thinking like for a tip jar um like the one dollar thing where people just want to support you and don't want anything i was like oh maybe i could do pesto with a little jar and i like drew it out here and then i was just like no no and i just don't like any of them enough i think maybe it's pressure because if you're doing a patron i want well if i'm doing a patron i want everything to be like good as you can see i'm a little bit obsessed with pesto at the moment i've been drawing her a lot um I saw her like I was on a work call and it was, you know, a one where I had to listen more than cooperate in and I just saw Pesto sitting on this chair so I was just doodling her quickly. And then I was thinking like of doing a zine where, because I've lived in a lot of houses my whole life, of doing a little zine of um, like each house maybe picked out the best houses I don't know and then doing like a little comic of like a story from that house and I was just experimenting with like a certain style so it kind of reads like this <laughs> because I didn't know what panels I didn't plan it out I just drew it so it's not the best it's just a fun little style um 
I'm really getting into using the Molotovs toast a lot more as you can see I am really enjoying them and I think I want to just yeah go with them a lot more in my new stuff and also the there is a video coming out or will have come out with the pastels so that's coming out tomorrow my time to Saturday yeah I had to pre-plan a lot of videos and I have to say that it's a lot easier because what I do is I film on Saturday and then I edit like Sunday, Monday and then it's ready for the next weekend and then I can have more time for filming so I can make maybe better videos I hope, I don't know. Yes Pastor that is you. She's like this is mine, how dare you, this is my image. Don't show them. Everyone's flipping out, but Pesto is uh, number one, so she can sit on the sketchbook. She can do whatever she wants in my eyes. Come on, Pesto. She's so cute. She does like to be center of attention, that's for sure, just like her mama. <laughs> but you have to move Pesto because we're going to draw on here, I'm afraid. So cute. So cute. Okay, I think first of all what I usually do is write down my to-dos in my little, um, this is a, yeah, a moleskine, moleskin, however you say it, uh, like notebook that I've had for two years. My sister-in-law gave this to me and I just, I stick lots of stickers on that I get from Dina and Joysan and I really like the way that it looks. It's really cool. So I... I want to cover it maybe with plastic so it just it stays as it is but yeah anyway um that's my to do thing i write a lot of notes in here of what i have to do for that day or usually on saturday when i have to plan and film video and then i draw out like maybe the the thumbnails and stuff and write down what i need to do so like for this one i've written like i need to film i need to edit thumbnail voiceover etc then I like to draw out the thumbnails maybe like really roughly to see what would kind of work and ideas of the future and stuff like that. It's a bit boring but yeah, it helps me to figure out my ideas. So I don't know if you guys actually like um, these studio vlogs. When I had about um, maybe like 2,000 subscribers, I know that a lot of people enjoyed them. So if you're newer than 2,000 subscribers, let me know. I mean, I think I'm going to post them anyway because I don't think it's going to do any any harm to the channel. I mean, maybe people will unsubscribe, but I will still post like youtube -y videos if that makes sense, like challenge -y stuff and more concise videos, I guess. So today I'm going to focus on Patreon rewards. I do know what I want to offer for sure. It's just like redoing the style, like redoing those icons and everything. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I put to do Patreon rewards, that's it, no. I need to do like a subcategory of research, inspiration. I've already kind of doodled out stuff, but I think I'm gonna have like rough, a rough doodle section of what I wanna do. Rough doodles and then finals. And I think that will be okay for the day. I think later I should check on all the written stuff as well because that might be out of date too. Because when I went to do my full-time job as a graphic designer, I stopped my patron from anything. I closed down the page. But the patron people, I think, are still on there. So I need to send them a warning because I don't want them to just suddenly be like, Surprise, you're my patron again, because that would be, you know, maybe people don't necessarily want to still get rewards and stuff from me. So that would be, yeah, it's stuff like that. I think patron frustrates me a little bit because the UI and stuff is a little bit ugh, weird. I hope that they've worked on it since I've last used it. But I always find it really um, counterintuitive, like it's really not intuitive at all. It's Anyway, I'm getting into the mind of UI UX kind of person being like, what is this website? <laughs> Fix it. Um, yeah, wordage. I'm just going to write wordage because I know what that means. And then, yeah, past rewards. I need to write that down. I think Patreon will also hold me accountable. So I'm hoping to post like stuff of my horror comic on there. Um, I'm hoping to send out monthly rewards. 
I want to be able to buy like a good printer at some stage, invest in one of those. Well, that's the hope, isn't it? That you can pay for stuff that you need with uh, being, being, what's the word? Patronized? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I want to eventually buy like a good printer and stuff like that so I can make my own like prints and things which would be very nice because people always ask me on YouTube, well always uh, get the occasional comment of like please make this into a print and I'm like yeah okay I don't really want to send this off to the UK and then wait weeks and weeks for it to come back and then it's just a lot of effort for me so and then not necessarily everyone will buy one like that one person's like make a print of this and it's like okay here you go one person buys it you know so if i have my own printer i could just print out when necessary which would be more cost effective definitely and just handy you know just handy dandy so i'm hoping to do that anyway i digress i want to have a tip jar reward a book club and a print club and a youtube gang I think for the print club that's going to be on hold for like a little while until I can afford that printer. Um, but yeah, so I wrote down loads of stuff. The book club will receive a new bookmark monthly. Okay, um, that's probably also going to rely on my printer, but I need to figure out what would the book club be. Um, you can vote on the books I should paint over, read, illustrate. So. That's like a cool thing, but I need to um, expand on that a little bit. Book club, let's see. I think I'm very intrigued by that one because it sounds fun and it sounds fun for people to participate in. So maybe monthly we could all pick a book, full vote on it, and I will illustrate stuff from it as we go. I don't know, stuff like that. It sounds fun because um, I know my channel is like a lot more booky at the beginning and it's it still is. It's just that I haven't really had a chance to find any books with film covers on them seeing as we are all on lockdown my lockdown is easing at the minute so it's it's good it's good <laughs> i hope i hope everything's gonna work out it's pretty crazy this whole situation i never well i don't think anyone has been through something like this in our lifetime so anyway <laughs> i am loving these molotov pens i really said this a thousand times i just really enjoy them and i think they layer so nicely and they're really nice colors and i really want to buy the big set of them so i think i'm going to watch some stuff whilst i continue drawing so yeah i'm chat in a bit chat in a bit so chris is home <laughs> so my peaceful sanctuary is over Okay everyone, it is now the next day. It's Saturday and I got quite far yesterday so I did like a few different versions of the book club one and I really liked this but I thought I needed to expand on it to make it more of an icon feel. I also drew my lockdown uniform, quite like this <laughs> silly doodle. And then I got completely distracted with that Kiki redraw thing and I just wanted to play with that and loosen up a bit. Then I took a giant break and then I did these and I really like them. So this one was a no, so I redid it. So this one would be for the book club icon, this one for the YouTube icon, and then this one for like the tip jar, but access to posts and stuff. So I'm not really sure on the wordage, but these are gonna be the icons. And yeah, that's it for that. I used a lot of Posca and Molotow together and lick my little Kiki delivery service ruler that I got from Japan, which I really like. Yeah, and we're going into town today for the first time ever. So we're going into town today for the first time ever for like two months because our lockdown has eased here. We've been in lockdown for like three, well no, two and a half week, <laughs> two and a half weeks two and a half months and yeah we're just gonna go to social distance and go to a shop quickly to buy a swimming costume because we're gonna go out on chris's parents boat this afternoon hopefully 
we don't know but we don't have swimming costumes because we came here in march and it was cold and we didn't think we would need them so. holiday here there's a car passing by I don't know if you can hear that so I don't know if I showed you this I think I did I did this on Saturday I think and then I got into doing um, I found some space at the front of the book so I did them here and I really liked these and then I went to upload them and realized stupidly that it was more a rectangle shape when I looked on mobile it looked like it was square but anyway, I redid them and I really like the way that these look compared to these. So I'm kind of glad that that happened. Um, yeah, so this is like the t <laughs> this is the tip jar one where you receive access to posts, book club and YouTube club. And I think this is really cool and I really like this, this style. Thanks, Pesto. Thanks for uh, coming in. Today I need to do some tidying a little bit because it got a little bit messy and yeah so that's that. I've nearly finished this sketchbook so I'm probably going to do like a sketchbook tour on YouTube at some point um, or maybe I'll make that my first Patreon post and then I'll publish it live another time on YouTube. Let's see, I don't know. It's kind of exciting, I'm excited and so is Pesto. Are you excited? There's a towel fallen from the balcony. Great. Ordered myself a smoothie, uh, well, juice? I don't know if it's a smoothie. Um, it's basically banana, chocolate powder, and more banana. And then they added loads of cream, which I wasn't expecting, but okay, we, we, can, we can handle it because we want some cream. She's like, mmm, not for you. Not for you, I'm afraid. Hey guys, so it's now the end of my working day right now and at the moment I am editing the vlog for this, uh, what you'll see now. And that's it. I think, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if this vlog has been a bit ra like random stuff, um, but that's what I hope that these vlogs will be like. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, hopefully see you guys next week or we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching and I will see you. Bye.